Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. Uh, in this section, we're going to, again, continue with systems of equations and using matrices and row reductions to solve them. But here we're going to tackle our first uh, system of equations that we call inconsistent. All right, so remember, the couple of examples we've done so far, what we were trying to do was take our system of equations and create an augmented matrix and transform the left-hand side of that matrix into a diagonal matrix, and then we can read the solutions directly off. So if you were able to take that augmented matrix and manipulate it into being a diagonal matrix like that, then you are uh, basically finished and you can read the solution right off of it. We call that a consistent system. When you have a set of, of linear equations like this and you can do that and read a unique solution off of the paper there or out of the matrix, then we say it's consistent. Here I'm going to show you a system that we call inconsistent, which means it doesn't have a solution. So uh, let's get started and just write down our system of equations and just kind of go and we'll pretend that we don't know what it's going to be and we'll just see how the solution falls out. So x plus 3y is equal to 5. Uh, 2x minus y is equal to 3. Negative x plus 4y is equal to 9. So the first thing to notice is that we have two variables, x and y, but we have three equations. So at first you might wonder, well, how, why are we doing that? Why do we have more equations than we do variables? Well, when you think about it, each one of these equations is a line. When you have two variables like x and y and they're linear like that, then they're going to form a line. If I were to solve this equation for y, make it y equals something in terms of x, and solve this one for y in terms of x, and solve this one for y in terms of x, I would have three lines. y is equal to mx plus b, basically, and I could plot those lines. So this set of equations is three lines. Now, um, if I end up getting a, a situation where when I plotted all three lines cross in a nice point right here, and this point is common to all three lines, then the xy value of this point is going to be what we're going to find the solution. It's going to be called the solution of the set of equations. But if, when I plot these guys, I get something like this, where I have uh, you know, two lines that cross up there and the third one cuts across like that, then you see that each of the lines cross you know, the other guy, but there's no common set of points in x and y that are common to all three equations. So if the lines end up looking like this, we'll have a consistent solution. If the lines look like this, then there will not be a single point in space where all of those lines coincide, so we won't have a solution. So I'm not going to beat around the bush. This set of equations is going to be inconsistent. Let's see how the math actually shows us that. So what we want to do is create an augmented matrix here. 